As originally stated in terms of DC resistive circuits only, Thevenin's theorem holds that any linear electrical network with voltage and current sources and resistances only can be replaced at terminals AB by an equivalent voltage source fifth in series connection with an equivalent resistance RTH. The equivalent voltage fifth is the voltage obtained at terminals AB of the network with terminals AB open circuited. The equivalent resistance RTH is the resistance that the circuit between terminals A and B would have if all ideal voltage sources in the circuit were replaced by a short circuit and all ideal current sources were replaced by an open circuit. If terminals A and B are connected to one another, the current flowing from A to B will be fifth, RTH. This means that RTH could alternatively be calculated as fifth divided by the short circuit current between A and B when they are connected together. In circuit theory terms, the theorem allows any one port network to be reduced to a single voltage source and a single impedance. The theorem also applies to frequency domain AC circuits consisting of reactive and resistive impedances. It means the theorem applies for AC in an exactly same way to DC except that resistances are generalized to impedances. The theorem was independently derived in 1853 by the German scientist Hermann von Helmholtz and in 1883 by Leon Charles Thevenin (1857–1926), an electrical engineer with France's National Postes et Telegraphes Telecommunications Organization. Thevenin's theorem and its dual, Norton's theorem, are widely used to make circuit analysis simpler and to study a circuit circuit's initial condition and steady-state response. Thevenin's theorem can be used to convert any circuit's sources and impedances to a Thevenin equivalent. Use of the theorem may in some cases be more convenient than use of Kirchhoff's circuit laws. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Calculating the Thevenin equivalent. The equivalent circuit is a voltage source with voltage VTH in series with a resistance RTH. The Thevenin equivalent voltage VTH is the open circuit voltage at the output terminals of the original circuit. When calculating a Thevenin equivalent voltage, the voltage divider principle is often useful, by declaring one terminal to be VOUT and the other terminal to be at the ground point. The Thevenin equivalent resistance RTH is the resistance measured across points A and B, looking back into the circuit. The resistance is measured after replacing all voltage and current sources with their internal resistances. That means an ideal voltage source is replaced with a short circuit, and an ideal current source is replaced with an open circuit. Resistance can then be calculated across the terminals using the formulae for series and parallel circuits. This method is valid only for circuits with independent sources. If there are dependent sources in the circuit, another method must be used such as connecting a test source across A and B and calculating the voltage across or current through the test source. The replacements of voltage and current sources do what the sources would do if their values were set to zero. A zero-valued voltage source would create a potential difference of zero volts between its terminals, regardless of the current that passes through it. Its replacement, a short circuit, does the same thing. A zero-valued current source passes zero current, regardless of the voltage across it, its replacement, an open circuit, does the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> example In the example, calculating the equivalent voltage V T H equals 
R two plus R three R two plus R three plus R four V one Display style V underscore Mathem TH equals R underscore two plus R underscore three over R underscore two plus R underscore three plus R underscore four C D O T V underscore Mathem one equals one K Omega plus one K Omega one K Omega plus one K Omega plus two K Omega fifteen V Display style equals one Mathem K Omega plus one Mathem K Omega over one Mathem K Omega plus one Mathem K Omega plus two Mathem K Omega C D O T fifteen Mathem V equals one two fifteen V equals seven point five V Display style equals one over two C D O T fifteen Mathem V equals seven five Mathem V Notice that R1 is not taken into consideration, as above calculations are done in an open circuit condition between A and B, therefore no current flows through this part, which means there is no current through R1 and therefore no voltage drop along this part. Calculating equivalent resistance R X R Y Display style R underscore X, R underscore Y is the total resistance of two parallel resistors R T H equals R one plus R two plus R three R four display style R underscore mathem th equals R underscore one plus left left R underscore two plus R underscore three right R underscore four right equals one K Omega plus one K Omega plus one K Omega two K Omega Display style equals one Mathem K Omega plus left left one Mathem K Omega plus one Mathem K Omega right two Mathem K Omega a right equals one K Omega plus one one K Omega plus one K Omega plus one two K Omega minus one equals two K Omega 
display style equals 1 mathrm k omega plus left 1 over 1 mathrm k omega plus 1 mathrm k omega plus 1 over 2 mathrm k omega right caret minus 1 equals 2 mathrm k omega topic conversion to a norton equivalent a norton equivalent circuit is related to the thevenin equivalent by r t h equals r n o Display style R underscore mathem TH equals R underscore mathem no V T H equals I N O R N O Display style v underscore mathrm th equals i underscore mathrm no r underscore mathrm no i n o equals v t h r t h Display style i underscore mathrm no equals v underscore mathrm th r underscore mathrm th. Topic: Practical limitations. Many circuits are only linear over a certain range of values, thus the Thevenin equivalent is valid only within this linear range. The Thevenin equivalent has an equivalent IV characteristic only from the point of view of the load. The power dissipation of the Thevenin equivalent is not necessarily identical to the power dissipation of the real system. However, the power dissipated by an external resistor between the two output terminals is the same regardless of how the internal circuit is implemented. Topic: A proof of the theorem. The proof involves two steps. The first step is to use superposition theorem to construct a solution. Then, uniqueness theorem is employed to show that the obtained solution is unique. It is noted that the second step is usually implied in literature. By using superposition of specific configurations, it can be shown that for any linear black box circuit which contains voltage sources and resistors, its voltage is a linear function of the corresponding current as follows: V equals V e q minus z E Q I display style v equals v underscore mathrm e q z underscore mathrm e q i. Here, the first term reflects the linear summation of contributions from each voltage source, while the second term measures the contributions from all the resistors. The above expression is obtained by using the fact that the voltage of the black box for a given current I display style I is identical to the linear superposition of the solutions of the following problems: one, to leave the black box open circuited but activate individual voltage source one at a time, and two, to short circuit all the voltage sources but feed the circuit with a certain ideal voltage source so that the resulting current exactly reads I display style I. Alternatively, one can use an ideal current source of current I display style I 
Moreover, it is straightforward to show that V E Q display style V underscore mathem E Q and Z E Q display style Z underscore mathem E Q are the single voltage source and the single series resistor in question. As a matter of fact, the above relation between V V and I displaystyle I is established by superposition of some particular configurations. Now, the uniqueness theorem guarantees that the result is general. To be specific, there is one and only one value of V display style V once the value of I display style I is given. In other words, the above relation holds true independent of what the black box is plugged to. Topic. See also. Milman's theorem. Source transformation. Superposition theorem. Norton's theorem. Maximum power transfer theorem. Extra element theorem. <laughs>